हेलो लेडीज एंड जेंटमैन वेलकम बैक टू एक्सोटिक एक्सोलॉजी एंड वी बिट लेट बट वी आर बैक विद द मंथली हॉर्स्कोप वीडियो आफ्टर अ लॉन्ग टाइम सो टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट द मंथ ऑफ अप्रैल एंड द कंजंक्शंस एंड द प्लेसमेंट्स दैट आर हैपनिंग ड्यूरिंग दिस टाइम सो यू कैन सी दिस चार्ट दिस इज फ्रॉम drikpanchang.com and uh, this is for first of april and uh, you can see the energy of pisces is quite uh, heavy and uh, the energy of capricorn is also quite heavy because we see there is an exalted planet in pisces which is venus and then there is a planet which is in debility which is also in pisces <coughs> so mercury is debilitated in pisces and he has just entered pisces on 1st of april and uh, venus is uh, in 90 degrees okay and what about sun he will be somewhere in between so he is in 17 degrees now uh, interesting is we see this moon month started with uh, the conjunction of uh mars and rahu are very close on 28th of march and you can see mars is in 22 degrees and rahu is in 19 so they have kind of started separating uh from now so you will uh start feeling the relief so uh let's discuss about mars rahu and moon ketu first because this is how the month starts off so in the initial uh, days of the month uh, you could have felt that uh, or i would say from last week of march uh, like 28th march around 27 28th march you could have felt that the houses which mars rules in your chart um, they they had undergone a feeling depending on your dashas and transits that if that area is not manifesting externally then you won't be happy in life so for example mars uh, so if you are a pisces lagna this is a chart for munich time uh, 6:41 am but imagine you are pisces rising in your birth chart then which house does mars rules in your chart mars rules the uh, second house and the ninth house okay 1 and 8 these are ruled by mars so you would have felt uh, that something to do with your family or savings or accumulated wealth or anything to do with uh, the ninth house which is fathers gurus teachers preachers counselors and the second and sec- second and ninth when combined uh, this can show uh, something to do with education uh because second house is also accumulated knowledge and ninth house is higher education so something to do with all this maybe you are trying for a degree abroad or you are trying to do your masters anything of that sort or maybe your family is pushing you to do masters because the second house has to do with the family and it could have happened that uh, you were very confused because mars and rahu are conjunct and um, it could have happened that you wanted things very badly somehow by hook or by crook and uh, you got it externally but then it was not what you thought it would have turned out to be so that's the nature of rahu he makes you feel like that and then the month started with uh, the mutual aspect of moon and mars now this is known as a very powerful yoga in astrology this is known as shashi mangala yoga moon and mars uh, aspecting each other or conjunct so um, they help each other actually so here if you see moon is the uh, fifth lord so if you are a pisces lagna then moon is your fifth lord so it could happen that anything to do with your family or, or education which is mars here maybe the fifth house helped you now fifth house is like uh fifth house is the house of the student so it could have happened that uh, some subordinate some junior uh, or by your own practice you uh, cracked some exam or something like that you um 
fifth house shows your own inborn talents okay or it shows creativity or it shows uh, innovation and all these things so it could have happened that you might have to uh, use the fifth house to satisfy the second house and the ninth house or the fifth house would have helped the second house and the ninth house that depends on your chart of course and then the month started uh, again as i said uh, with this heavy pisces energy so pisces energy is a very uh, peculiar energy the energy of pisces tells you that you can't do everything yourself even if you can you won't be happy so you might have been realizing this uh, since the month of april that and uh, vedic new year is also round the corner so we know that when sun enters aries so then we consider as okay we we are starting off with the new year so new year means uh, sun has entered its exaltation sign which is aries now why do we say that's a new year because um, the sun which represents our uh, sense of being in this world our existence that planet is um, undergoing a change of skin okay change of skin means uh, now we start to have a new outlook towards our life regarding the areas which uh, we own in our chart or in our life why do i say own because sun represents the kingdom remember everybody is a king to some extent okay you may own a mobile phone a laptop a car a home you may have uh, subordinates you may have siblings you may have parents these are things and people that belong to you okay so that's the energy of exaltation which will come after uh, 15th but the beginning was with pisces so what is pisces pisces basically tells you that there are certain things which you have to leave to in order to go ahead okay so therefore uh, it's crucial uh, that you understand that if you if you want to achieve something in life which you have never achieved then you have to do something in life which you have never done should i repeat to achieve something which you have never achieved you have to do something which you have never done why because if you are doing the same thing again and again you are just repeating the old pattern and therefore you are not seeing any new uh, gains or you you won't see any new results so therefore pisces tells you that now uh, you have tried enough now it's time to do something new when the new cycle of the sun begins okay and then we have this debilitation of mercury which is in pisces so this energy is like uh, okay i want to do my best but life is demanding that i should leave things to the universe and to god so what should i do how should i do it so then when mercury is in debility in pisces we try our best but we leave the rest to god and now venus is also there he is giving niche bhanga to this uh, debilitated mercury so venus is exalted here in pisces and venus is the uh, experience of the material world so i am seeing this laptop you are hearing me you are having an experience basically so that experience is uh, any experience that you have good bad nice not nice excellent horrible everything is venus because venus represents taurus and taurus represents the senses whenever you see something when you smell something when you eat something when you touch something when you hear something everything you are doing through the senses so therefore venus represents uh, our conception of being connected to this world and when it is in pisces we understand that no matter what is going on in this world we still have to be connected by every means by any means okay so then it makes life worth living because then we focus more on the experience rather than uh, trying to control the externals that's the energy of pisces that is why venus is exalted there and he is helping mercury which means he is indicating to your brain that yes uh, you may not 
understand what should you do now because the new cycle of the sun is going to start but whatever you can you should do it and you should be satisfied and you should take it as an experience take it as a lesson you may not be successful externally but even if you are not then also you should take it as a lesson as a life lesson and not think that uh, if only this could have been like this if only this could have been like that okay so this is how the month starts so basically this is a, a combined energy of uh, moon moon ketu and mars rahu beginning with uh, sun mercury venus and pisces so this gives us a feeling that there is a desire to control things externally but then uh, we realize that we need to let go and surrender and take every experience the way it is rather than trying to change it this is the lesson of venus in pisces and apart from that we see rahu is in taurus and uh, ketu is in scorpio so um, so therefore these these two placements are uh, also indicating the energies of mars and venus so rahu is in the sign of venus and ketu is in the sign of mars so this conjunction becomes further more important because now what happens is we uh, come to know that now uh, this this moon mars mutual aspect which happened is actually a way to understand what our mind actually wants and what other resources that are available to us okay so therefore we need to understand regarding the houses that mars rules specifically in the chart that uh, there are a lot of resources at our disposal but we need to remember that uh, rahu is representing the clouds okay which means uh, we feel things are blown out of proportion so therefore we need to understand that we may not need that much to the extent that we think we need okay so when uh, rahu is conjunct any planet in transit it is best to check what are your needs compared to what are your wants because wants are unlimited but needs are needs are always limited okay so therefore uh, try to focus on the things that you need rather than trying to focus on the things that you want okay because wants are endless and then of course jupiter uh, was in debility but now it has uh, from 5th 6th of april it has gone into aquarius uh, i won't speak much about it here i will make a separate video tomorrow so jupiter is uh, jupiter started off with uh, being in uh, capricorn with saturn and this was the time where we wanted to focus on our karmas with lot of uh, planning because saturn represents our karmas and jupiter represents planning our optimism our vision our Uh, jupiter represents things that we try to foresee actually so this is representing a time where uh, of course this is a very uh, conflicting energy of the month that the pisces energy is very heavy which tells you that take life the way it is enjoy every experience at the same time uh, we have this capricorn energy which tells you that no you need to go and finally get the results okay capricorn is a very result oriented sign so therefore uh, i would say this month would have exemplified uh, the teachings of the bhagavad gita very beautifully that uh, do your best and then uh, leave the rest to god okay so i think uh we should be like arjuna during this month where we put all our efforts we do our best and we harmonize with the energy of saturn and capricorn and apart from that we realize that the pisces energy is demanding us to take every experience the way it is and not uh focus on the externals okay and then later on mars will also move into gemini and uh, i will make that video separately and jupiter in capricorn's video will also come out okay so therefore uh, uh wish you all a very 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 happy vedic new year and 
i hope if you're new you have subscribed to my channel and if you want a consultation from me you will find the link to my website down in the description box of my videos okay god is there with you all the time just look to him and you will find him